Good Monday morning here in Kenya and welcome to another episode and this will be a playlist for the beginner because at times um, we find there are so many resources that are business central related and the beginner may find it challenging to know where to start, how to proceed and how to grow. So this mini playlist for of about five videos, this being the first, will help solve that problem for the beginner. Thank you for subscribing and we have clocked a hundred subscribers and please share the videos and I really appreciate your support so far. So stay tuned. <music> Go to your Google and search for Business Central 2021 Web 2 download and open the first link here and then download. Choose the language pack that you want to use. The, the acronyms are here. This is the uh, generic version, and, but this one, this is Australia, I guess. Or oh, this is Australia. Okay, I only know. This is English Canada, I guess. And uh, India, there's India, there's Russia, there's US. Okay, for me, I like using the US version. And then click on next. And then the download will start. Basing on your internet speed, that will determine how fast your download will happen. So once uh, downloaded, open the down the extract the folder because it will be a zip file and then go and click on the setup to install the business central click on next next and then choose the advanced installation options here and then install the demo uh, once you click on install demo it will now do the installations for the business central okay so you will we'll leave it to install so i'll pause the video you can pause the video uh for the, so that you can finish installing and then uh, once installed you can come back to this the reason uh, we are installing um the the demo is to avoid uh, the some complications that you may get uh, as a beginner uh in during installation if you use the advanced other options of installation so we are trying to avoid those pitfalls and get started as fast as possible because you don't really want to be discouraged to <coughs> you don't really want to be uh, discouraged from the start uh, while you could use this uh, option and uh, with time you learn about now the the different uh, ways to install uh, the business central in your on-prem machine so uh, it is finishing to install and then we will pick it up from there so once installed you can open uh, the web browser you may face uh, uh, if you face any error please uh, read the error and understand what it means it could uh, you can be if it's something as long as the installation was successful you should be see you should see the web client here you see dynamics where is the web client it's supposed to be business central business central uh business central web client search for business central web client and when you click on that link it will open for you the business central web client this is uh, the client that we have installed that we want to to use and while it's loading uh, allow me now to show you the the second step which will be go to use dynamic.com this is the site that will teach you the functional part of business central because business central is about extending the application so an understanding of the functioning of the application will be key because when you extend your extensions will be high quality extensions since you have understood uh, the base application how it works and here when you browse you can see the there are so many uh, videos here but uh, the ones that i suggest you go through uh, 
these first three videos basic training getting started and for the finance that one will be enough to give you an overview of the client the web client Wh while doing this um as uh, okay while learning the functional part please make sure that you go on this side this other side of your application and apply if for instance they say uh, create a new customer please click on the new customer and create that new customer if they prompt you to change maybe the company or uh, you change your settings you copy a new company please follow all the guidelines it's good to be a user first and then you'll easily understand how to now extend the application once the functional aspect of the application is well drilled into your mind and i believe that that's it for this video may god bless you i'll see you in the next video if you have any challenge maybe during installation please leave it in the comment below and we'll try and help if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one